seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift off. Starliner is headed back to space on the shoulders of Atlas, powered by a workforce dedicated to its success. We have confirmation of a good MET epic timer on Starliner. This is the first plan throttle down for Atlas in preparation for Max Q. Max Q, maximum enemy pressure on the vehicle. Right now, atmospheric forces are the highest Starliner Atlas will face during the uphill climb. Pound at a rate of 2,800 pounds per second. And we have indication of SRB jettison. Atlas continues to ascend using solely the RD-180 engine. That's about 850,000 pounds of flight. thrust at sea level. And we have BECO, booster engine cutoff. We have successful sta success staging. Pre-start on the RL-10s. We have ignition on both RL-10s. Centaur's now gone to closed loop steering. Just passed through several milestones. Teams here on their Teams here on the ground reporting that all are looking good. Ascent cover jettison there. That provided that and aerodynamic air structure jettison. to the top of Starliner, protected the docking equipment during ascent. Five seconds away now. And we have Miko 1. Center engines have cut off. RCS is now at 100% Main engine cut off, right on time. Starliner is in space, but not done with the ascent milestones. Hearing in the room that it was a good main engine cut off. The next milestone that we'll be looking for is launch vehicle separation, when Starliner will separate from Centaur booster and fly on its own. And we have confirmation of Starliner separation.